Greetings to all. The model that we chose for this project is a homemade air purifier. The reason behind this is pretty simple. The depletion in the purity of air is nowadays becoming a major problem, so we wanted to make a small contribution in resolving it. Although our motives were clear from the beginning, making an air purifier using filter wasn't our first attempt. At first, we attempted on making a electrostatic precipitator, but we had to eventually drop the idea due to the lack of appropriate power source. Then we came across the idea of using a filter, and on scrolling the internet, we found a very suitable filter, which is an F HEPA filter, which clears around 99.7% of fibrous material from air. Then we proceeded on gathering the requirements, which included a 12-volt PC fan, a filter, a spray, a tube, a bottle of sanitizer, and a mass material. All of the stuffs were either low cost or reused. Now you might be wondering how it works. The 12 volt PC fan with 1500 to 5500 revolution per minute absorbs the contaminated air and passes it on to the filter. There the filtration takes place and it is moved on to the tube and it is sanitized with the help of spray. At last, it is released to the mass material. I've explained the procedure simply to you, but it is way more difficult. We faced many difficulties and we had to redo many stuffs. Most of the people think that in a filter, the large particulates are filtered while the smaller ones escape. However, this is totally a misconception. In HEPA filters, there are a number of glass fiber layers in order to complete the filtration. These consist of very thin fibers distributed randomly and orientated at all sides. In reality, the principles are for the large particulates, due to their large size, they have more inertia. So they cannot keep up with the complex pathway and eventually get physically blocked. For the small particulates, due to their small size, they have very, very low inertia. So, they dance around with gas molecules and eventually get stuck. So, you can see that this is called Brownian motion. It is not the smaller ones which is difficult to be filtered, but the medium sized ones. They are too small to be caught through inertia and too large to be caught through Brownian motion. When filters are made, the middle sized particles are used because they are the ones which slip through. Our idea is that when a bacteria of middle size escapes, the sanitizer will sanitize it. In short, it is easy to make, easy to use, effective and most of all, a very affordable model. Thank you.